Hi, Misty. It's my turn to talk with you today. I've been lying around lifeless and limp back here in a box. I'm so glad to be active today. Yeah, I know what you mean. I am really privileged to be one of the active puppets again today also. So what are we working on today, Chip? Well, Pastor Ron was talking about how God gave the children of Israel ten words by which to live well. But he told the folk here today that no one can live by these ten words without God in them to help them do so. Well, Chip, you know that's how it works for me. I can't move or speak without my puppeteer. Someone has to come and get me and put their hand inside me so that I can move and speak. The same thing happens to me, Misty. The other day I had a great idea. I thought I would just do it by myself. I mustered up a bucket full of courage and strained with all my might. The best I could do is just to look like roadkill. <laughs> Chip, you still look a little like roadkill. But at least you can move a little today. Without a puppeteer, I can't even muster up courage. But I still look cute just lying in the box back here. Don't you think I look cute? I don't know, Misty. I couldn't get up and see you without the help of my puppeteer. So I just lie there and enjoy feeling like roadkill. But isn't it great that today we get to be alive, Chip? I can wiggle and move my mouth. Hey, puppeteer, make me wiggle. There, that's better. Who's in charge around here anyway, me or you? Okay, okay, I get it. Misty, are you okay? It sounds like you're having a little trouble there. Well, my puppeteer was showing off and letting everyone know that I am fully dependent on their hand up inside me. I can't even wiggle on my own. That must be what Pastor Ron was talking about when he told us that people can't live well without God in them either. It's like all these folk need a big puppeteer inside them to help them live well also. Yeah, I never realized that. Look at all these folk. They are just like us, at least in this way. I wonder if they have a box they get put into that they have to lie in when they don't have God's Spirit in them. I wonder if some of them look like roadkill also when they aren't animated by the Holy Spirit. Hey, Chip. Do you suppose we could find this Holy Spirit and get him to animate us when there isn't a puppeteer available? Just think of all the things we could do. I don't know, Misty. But that's a great idea. Maybe there's someone we could ask. Yeah, let's go ask Pastor Ron. He seems to know an awful lot. Maybe he knows about this also.